a major blow to City of Milwaukee employees who want to live outside city limits. An appeals court decided in favor of the city's rule that requires municipal employees to live in the City of Milwaukee. Our Tom Murray is live at City Hall with the latest. Tom. Carol, Steve, let's say right up front there is no order right now for relocation for city employees who move to the suburbs or for new hires who have never moved into Milwaukee. That's because the unions representing police officers and firefighters are vowing to appeal this decision to the state Supreme Court. Class. Just yesterday, Milwaukee Mayor Tom Barrett urged new police recruits to live in the city. We've got police officers who live in our neighborhood, and I absolutely love it. Options opened up because the state legislature passed a measure banning local governments from mandating that municipal employees live within the city limits. A state appeals court ruled today that lawmakers unlawfully targeted Milwaukee and that Milwaukee can enforce its residency requirement. The court recognized the argument we've been saying all along that for 75 years this was a local issue. It's encouraging. Uh, certainly it's far from the final word and we know that. It's, it's a step in the right direction. The president of the Milwaukee Professional Firefighters Association called the court's decision a disappointment saying the law is antiquated and employees should be able to choose where they want to live. The president of the Milwaukee Police Association releasing a statement promising the MPA will seek review in the Wisconsin Supreme Court on behalf of its members, as well as all municipal employees throughout the state. Simply because you have um, you've hired somebody um, doesn't mean you should be able to dictate uh, the important decisions that their family makes, including you know where to live. I just got updated numbers from the city of Milwaukee. The mayor's spokesperson tells me right now more than 600 city employees live outside the city limits of the 7,000 total employees, accounting for nearly 10 percent of the city's employees, meaning that if this residency rule in the end stands, a significant number of families may be impacted and forced to move back to the city. For now, live downtown, Tom Murray, today's TMJ4. Yeah, this certainly will continue to play out in court. Thank you very much, Tom.